Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you're new here, hi, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for more diamond painting content. And if you're back, welcome back. Today I'm really excited to get to hop on and share with you all an unboxing of a brand new to me company and a relatively new company in the diamond painting world. So let's go ahead and get into it. How cute are all these stickers, by the way? Loving all of the encouragement. <laughs> this is actually, hmm, which side should we open this from? This is from the company called, let's do this side. Uh, Diamond Art Dreams, which, ooh, there's cute branding here on the side. Hmm, looks like it might have come off a little bit. That's all right. Uh, so this is, like I said, from a relatively new company called Diamond Art Dreams. And this is a company that was started by the artist Sherry Baldi. You may have seen some of her artwork before. She has licensed with other shops before. To be completely honest with you, I am <laughs> I'm not here to get into a debate about you know, how and why and when artists choose to go about self-publishing. I just wanted to check out a, a diamond painting company that has licensed artwork because that's so important to me on my channel. So I had kind of been keeping an eye out on Diamond Art Dreams website for a little while to see if something would catch my eye. To be completely honest, most of Sherry, Bardi, Sherry Baldi's artwork is maybe not quite my personal style. It's completely fine if it's yours. It just, for me personally, hasn't spoken to me as often as maybe some other artists might, and that's okay. There's lots of really fantastic options out there for us, and the more the merrier. So it looks like I got a big old bag of candy that the bag just split. That's really okay. Thank you for your order. Lots of goodies and a business card actually a really pretty one. <laughs> diamond art dreams where diamond painting dreams come true. Cute. So there's all the info. I'll be sure to link to everything below in the description so you won't miss out on that. Ooh, I think that's my ordering slip. Make sure you don't see any of my important info. No, there's just Sherry wrote a little thank you on here. So yay, thank you. Uh, this is super cute packaging, by the way. <laughs> Let's get into this. So again, Sherry Baldy is the artist, and she has a really distinct art style. Um, and when I saw that she, you know, she's been adding more and more kits to her website. When I saw this one, I thought, okay, yeah, I think I'd be interested in checking out that one. Again, in part, in large part, to show show a new company to you all. I really like that tissue paper, by the way, that's adorable. <laughs> so it's in this plastic dust bag as well. Let's go ahead and pull this out. This looks like it's one of those, these are really popular right now. These kind of, um, is it soft lint or short lint canvases? Almost feels like a felt, it's not. But um, yeah, this particular type of canvas is very popular right now. I'm seeing a lot of companies use it. Okay, so this is the piece that I'm gonna be working on. The name of this one is, okay, so here, Diamond Art Dreams, Fluffy Fairy Cake by Sherry Baldy. And I thought, you know what? She kind of like reminds me of me a little bit cause like I'm kind of fluffy. I like all the pink in it. Like she's got a cake that also almost looks like a coffee to me. Like either way, I'm happy. Um, and I have brown hair. I don't have any tattoos, but that's, you know, that's fine. <laughs> so this was again, one of those pieces that I thought, okay, sure. Like I'll try this one out. Um, this is a 50 by 60, I believe. Yes. On the website for the various pieces, I think it, she only offers them in one size each. I'm okay with a 50 by 60 because I think that'll go relatively quickly. I want to say that you aren't, that you are not able to choose between round and square drills. I'll take a look and I'll be sure to add a little note on the screen for what your options are, if there are any. So we have a color chart here and kind of an inventory sheet. This is gonna have 35 colors. Just taking a look at the symbols, a first glance, these look great and hopefully none of them look too similar to one another. We'll check out this little pink asterisk and that peachy background dot to make sure those don't look confusing but I'm super excited to get into this, you guys. <laughs> I It's been a little while since I've gotten to try a brand new to me diamond painting company. So it looks like that's gonna be the bottom. I'm getting just a tiny, tiny bit of glue odor. 
That's okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is port glue, which you can usually tell by the clear plastic cover. And we've got drills here we'll get into in just a moment. Here's our basic toolkit. This is gonna have everything that you need to get started with your diamond painting. So we have a basic white tray. These are some of the like really, um, they're just all plastic tweezers. I have a difficult time using these for like placing drills or correcting, but these kinds of tweezers are really helpful for special drill kits. We have your basic pink pen, a couple plates of pink wax and some extra baggies. So basic toolkit, but you know what? That will certainly get the job done for diamond painting. <laughs> now this is like most of these short lint canvases that I've worked with recently. Um, it looks like it's fairly wrinkle prone on the back, but since this is poured glue, we can go ahead and roll it back the opposite direction. That's gonna help it lay flat, as is pulling back the plastic cover. So let me do that first so that this is a little bit easier for us to um, see without me fighting the canvas the whole time. But I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. A little fuzzy. Okay. Here we go. So the other thing I'm gonna do is pull back the plastic cover, which, ooh, that's pulling back really nicely. I've noticed that there's definitely a difference in quality, even on the plastic covers on paintings. And this is like a really nice, <laughs> like a soft and like decent quality plastic cover, which is really nice. See, if you're seeing these wrinkles, like that's not in the glue, it's, just in how the plastic cover is wanting to lay down on this kind of canvas. But I've done a couple of kits on on, so, on short lint, soft lint, someone tell me, I'll Google it. <laughs> and once drills are on, they usually do okay. It looks like there's kind of a stubborn fold right there. I'll have to work on that. That's okay. All right, let's take a look at the different parts of the canvas. So here at the top which by the way this does have surged and scalloped edges so you shouldn't have to worry about fraying uh here's the name of the company diamond art dreams the name of the piece and the artist cherry baldy over here we've got a logo and then we have one schematic or you know color code chart over here a random drill that <laughs> just topped in here so those are super clear, again, with the DMC codes as well. Did I get a fuzzy over on this side? I think I did, that was probably me. Oh, well, that's really stuck in the glue, that's okay. All right, so we have another, we have a schematic including a thumbnail of the picture over here, the size and what I assume is sort of like a unit number, and then the same color chart there. Over here, we've got all of the info like their website, their Facebook page, and the hashtag to use. And here at the bottom, there's their little saying, branding again, Diamond Art Dreams, create a little sparkle in your world. Cute. They've got a lot of different taglines. It's fine. <laughs> Let's take a look at the symbols on the canvas. At first glance, these are super, super clear. Oh my gosh, that printing is fantastic. Taking a look, those two symbols that I was just a tiny bit concerned would be really similar. You can take a look here. There's sort of this asterisk and then this dot. Those are extremely distinct from one another. I am not going to mix these up. This is definitely the kind of canvas I'm not going to need a light pad for. It is so clearly printed and I am very, very happy with what I'm seeing. This looks like there's this really pretty border around the edges. I'm curious to see how the flowers look detail-wise once drills are on. Her face looks super cute though, right? <laughs> I think that looks really great. Now, when I glance in the bag, I think, yeah, this comes with a couple of ABs. I am excited to see what those are. And of course, we will be sure to take a look and see exactly where on the canvas those ABs are going to go. I'm also curious to see how the detail in her tattoo, her thigh tattoo turns out. Yeah, I'm. this will be really, really interesting to get into. So. I am going to flip this over and we're gonna take a quick look at the drills. If you're just interested in seeing where those ABs go, feel free to skip ahead just a little bit until you see me not working with drills. <laughs> so, okay, so there is this DAD035, which will match up with 
this number that I mentioned earlier, this DAD035. You can also just grab like a little label or a Sharpie. Like I'll probably just grab a pen and write, you know, <laughs> well, that's Diamond Art Dreams. But I'll write the name of the piece here. Since this did not come in like a designated box outside of the box that it shipped in, I'll and because I want this to help lay flat, I'll probably, I'll almost certainly be storing the canvas separate from the drills and I want to be able to easily match them back up later. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at these drills. Okay. Hmm. So these were just tossed in there. Like literally, I mean, you saw how I pulled them out there. Um, some of them are in a chain if they're the same color and then uh, some are not. So that's okay. That is all right. Uh, if I were going to maybe look for them to make a change, I would say either packaging them in such a way that maybe they're in some sort of order or doing some kind of chain would probably be a little bit helpful, I think. So let's take a look at some of the colors. We have this really pretty blue. These are round drills, so I'm less worried about trash than I would be if it were square drills, but I'm still gonna take a look. But no, these drills look really great. Is this, we do have some 310, and then a 934, that's like an olive green, but here this 310. Now the quality looks good. I don't really know that I'm seeing any trash, to be completely honest with you. <laughs> Sorry about that. And this deep red. Gosh, it's a little tricky for me to try to show these to you because they're just kind of willy-nilly in here. Let me find our ABs. I don't wanna miss them. Let's find our ABs and take a look at what we've got. So I see some here. There should be two. I think those are all that same one. Here we go. Okay, here's our two different ABs. I don't know how many we got. Might have just gotten this one small bag. Okay, sorry this is really haphazard, you guys. So we have a couple of different ABs and similar to some other companies, um, if the DMC code is under 150, it is an AB. So the two ABs that we have, the first is this, this is, it looks probably like a white to you, but it has just the tiniest mint hue. And by the way, if you're newer to diamond painting or to my channel and you're not totally sure what I mean when I say AB drill, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's a special kind of drill where they've taken a regular drill and then put an iridescent coating on top. It's a really beautiful way to enhance a painting, painting by adding extra sparkle and shine to areas that um, the company wants to enhance. And you could see that extra sparkle there, that iridescent coating. Um, it's also gonna pick up some of the colors from the drills around it and be even more beautiful. So we have a few bags of this mint white color. And then, oh wait, no, I see, I, I must have looked at this wrong. We have three ABs. Have that right? Yeah, we have three ABs, just, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> three ABs total. So we have this really pale pink AB. This is one of my personal favorites. See that really pretty shimmer. And then we have this like, oh my gosh, orange red. That's fantastic. I wonder if that'll go on the flowers or maybe some of her outfit. Okay, so we have those three ABs. Let me move these all off to the side super elegantly. And let's flip this over. Let's find out where those ABs are going to go. So we're looking for that mint white AB is gonna be this straight line symbol. And I see some of it here on the plate and a little bit in the whipped cream. There's a little bit in her eyes, just a little bit in her little wings here. We also have it, let me see. We have it sprinkled up here where you see kind of the white up here, like in here, there's just chunks of that whiter 
mint AB and in here a little bit too. So that's an interesting choice. I like it in the whipped cream and in like her eyes and her wings and whatnot. That'll be really pretty. Now our second AB is that really pale pink AB and we're looking for a lowercase t symbol, which it didn't look like there was very much of that AB. So I think it's gonna be minimal. There's one each in her eyes. Um, make sure I'm not missing any. There's a t like there's just a couple here. There's a couple randomly sprinkled in a couple of the vines. Ooh, there's some here in the whipped cream on this cake. Did I call it coffee earlier? It's cake. There's some in here. There's a little bit here on this plate and a little bit in her wings as well. Those are gonna be really pretty areas to have that extra sparkle too. I like that a lot. Finally, we have this bright red orange AB. We're looking for the percent symbol. And I am seeing it here, kind of a little bit of highlight in her hair. There's one or two in her lips. Ooh, it's sprinkled all through her outfit. Ooh, that's really pretty. That's really, really pretty. It's all in her dress here. A little bit up here in her hair. I'm actually not seeing it in the flowers in the frame, which is okay. I like that it's gonna really accent her. Um, again, a little bit in her dress and then a little bit in her shoes. That's what I was hoping too. Can you guys see? Yeah, so a little bit in her shoes. I like that a lot. So I like that, I like that this company includes ABs. That is gonna be really, really fun to have. Really quick, I'm gonna measure this and make sure that it is true to size. So this is advertised as being a 50 by 60. It is 49 and a half by 60 almost on the nose. So I am going to call that true to size because I like to give companies about a centimeter of wiggle room um, just because of how printing works. So overall, Yes, I, I think I'm really liking what I'm seeing, um, especially for a newer company. I am intrigued and I, again, I think I like what I'm seeing. The price point was maybe a little bit on the higher side, but they were running a sale when I ordered for 20% off. And that made this a little bit more doable, though shipping was added on a bit as well. I admire when artists self-publish and try new things though. And so I wanted to give this company a shot and I think this is a really adorable piece. Like I said, it was a little bit different than what I feel is Sherry Baldi's typical style, but I think it's gonna be really, really cute. It looks like there's a ton of confetti in this. Like the background is not a solid color. There's a lot of confetti and I am very, very, very curious to see how this is going to look with drills on. So I'm hoping I can get to this soon. Of course, I'll keep you posted if and when I do. And I will, of course, post a post review as well. I'd love to hear your thoughts um, on this kit. Do you like the look of it? Have you tried Diamond Art Dreams yourself before? Um, I'll be sure to link to them below in the description, like I said, and encourage you to check them out to see if there's anything that really speaks to you or if, you know, the price point and the things that Sherry Baldy has to offer is up your alley. But yeah, I'm liking this. I'd love to hear what you think as well. So thank you so much for watching this unboxing video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up before you head on out. And if you're not already subscribed and want to see more diamond painting content, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and you can also hit the bell to be notified when I share new videos. Anyway, thank you so much for watching again and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.